All right, this is our concept drawing I come up with with SketchUp, and it was rendered by Chaos. And so we had a guy build it. Uh, company's name is Kirk Creations. We use him for all our woodwork. He does amazing work. Um, here's the tabletop connection boxes. This one's motorized. So I put a motorized one on each end. Um, just because the center ones are regulars. But the uh, the whole di idea of this design is to match that cloud up there. That's what we came up with. The uh, openings in these will get an infinity glass and I'm about to show you how I built them. Um, this is the idea here where I've done it on the CEO's desk itself and we decided to do it on this one too they're just larger so here's the wiring inside each one of those um, legs there's three of them so each one's got this exact same thing inside it so here i go you building the the frame that will hold the mirror glass and this first time using the herxall from Harbor Freight. Um, the first one I did a little bit with it and then we transported it to Birmingham and it got destroyed. It was our fault. And uh, yeah, Harbor Freight returned it, no questions asked. So this one's brand new and these are the first cuts. So here's my table saw, I'm gonna rip these down. Please don't make fun of my table saw. This was a gift from my wife and kids uh, several years ago and it's been working out i mean it's it's not the greatest but it's a gift from them and i'm gonna hang on to it it's noisy it vibrates really bad and it's pretty scary and sketchy to use but heck i ain't scared so here i am ripping it down for the sides we've got an 18 by 24 uh, mirror so I'm going to build a box just for the mirror itself. It'll sit inside the legs of the table. Um, you won't see this frame at all. Um, it, I have to say this Herxall was amazing. Smooth, very powerful. Um, I like the shadow uh, guide that it gives you. It, it's pretty accurate so we're just going to cut these down uh, each direction to uh, make our box here you go you can see how clean a cut it makes with that Hercules uh, blade so um, here we go we're gonna cut the other direction just so you can see and butt up this uh, corner piece here see how tight our uh, 45s how accurate they are so yeah here's my little Hitachi pin nailer um, this thing's amazing I've used it quite a bit on certain this and that's and so we're going to match one up Gorilla Glue here um, stuff is pretty strong if you let it dry but I had one that when I was trying to paint it it fell down kind of tweaked it uh, I squeezed it back together but apparently the wood, uh, glue it had already been setting up and afterwards yeah it, it wasn't even holding anymore only the nails were holding it so I had to re uh, redo all it pull the nails and take it apart and re-glue it but uh yeah we're just gonna nail each corner here just to hold it tight like i said the the glue worked out great as long as you gave it time to set up and, and didn't jack with it or drop them i'm gonna route her out a little quarter inch uh, bead here for the mirror to set down in and uh when I place these on the uh, table legs inside, um, 
the mirror will be up against the plywood of the leg so we don't have to worry about it falling out once they're screwed in but uh yeah we're just going to router it out here give it a, a little eighth inch depth and a quarter inch just for the mirror to set in and uh, check it right here all good so I spray paint them black just in case uh, any wood tries to show up uh, and exposed but I doubt it will because the hole is exactly the same size as the mirror so here I uh, place the mirror in the frame tape the corners down so I can flip it over and just tacked it with some hot glue just to hold the mirror in there like I said once you put it in it's not coming out so there's our PEX glass and I've got to uh, put this window tint on it's a mirror finish because we want this on the back side so that it reflects the LED back and forth off the mirror and the tinted side of your uh, plexiglass so here I got the uh, power supply wired up to the LEDs that's why it's blue inside I got it on testing it um, here's our wiring coming down there's our panel it's already got the film on it it's a mirror finish that, that was laser etched um, here we got an eighth inch of our plexiglass, and then we've got three eighths LED which comes out to the half inch plywood that was used there so the LED ends up flush and then we put our frame right up against it like you can see right there once you screw it in the mirror will not come out so the hot glue is just to hold it in and here is our finished product as you can see it's very beautiful I'm really pleased with it so um, yeah guys if you enjoyed my video hit that like button comment let me know what you think uh, if you see anything I did that was stupid or anything let me know you know comments are always great good or bad and uh, thanks for watching please subscribe you guys take care